So wait a minute, Planet Fitness, you guys will let one man in the women's locker room, but y'all won't let this man in the women's locker room. Are y'all being transphobic? What's going on, everybody? I'm your guy, Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, all right? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you do me a favor and follow me on all these channels you see listed up here in the black and all the ones you see down here, all right? Hitting this button right here will allow my content to continuously be recommended to you while putting it out there in the YouTube algorithm, especially if y'all want people to hear this, all right? Also, the products you see listed throughout this video are products that I use. Okay, I don't want to give a long speech on that because I want to get into this story. But yes, those are the products that I use from the camera to the lighting to the mouse to the stuff I feed my dog, all that good stuff. Yeah, y'all ask, i let y'all know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all don't remember, there was a woman that went viral because she was trying to take up for a little girl, a young girl that happened to be in the Planet Fitness locker room. This, young, this woman, she threw a fit because there was a man in there shaving. And she just knew that Planet Fitness was going to have her back. What did Planet Fitness do? They told her she no longer has a membership. Then they sent out a letter saying that that man had a right to be in the women's locker room because he claimed that he was a woman. And Planet Fitness took up for that man. <laughs> now, if y'all don't know, we had a deal with Planet Fitness, I and my uh, mentorship program that we have. We had over 50 members that went to Planet Fitness. I immediately took them out of that because I did not support that. My young mentees, I would throw a fit if one of them came crying to me saying, Mr. Ty, there is a man in our locker room. Yes, I would throw a fit. So what we do, we pulled our 50 memberships. And along with that, a lot of you guys wrote me letters, emails. You guys all did the same. Shout out to you guys for doing that. Well, anyway. Planet Fitness took up for the man that wanted to be in the women's locker room. And within a week's time, thank God, you guys, us, the American people, we spoke. They lost over $400 million, and it's still counting, but they're keeping that out of the news. So why are you telling us all this, time? Well, I'll tell you why, because this new story just popped up. And y'all y'all got to follow me on this one. Planet Fitness member arrested after going into ladies' locker room completely naked claiming he identified as a woman what do you mean claiming y'all y'all i'm definitely gonna be sarcastic about all this but let's get ready to read a little bit more into this a planet fitness member in north carolina allegedly entered a ladies locker room what do you mean ladies he's a lady i'm oh i'm, I'm doing we're, we're doing this today he allegedly entered a ladies locker room at the gym and stripped down completely naked claiming that he identified as a woman according to the police and the 911 callers Christopher Miller, 38, was arrested on a charge of indecent exposure and booked into the Gaston County Jail last Thursday with his online inmate entry identifying him as male. How, how homophobic are y'all? How transphobic are the police? How transphobic is Planet Fitness for doing this to this woman? This woman, y'all. Because the last woman that was in the ladies' locker room shaving, they had no problem with. Planet Fitness, y'all being hypocritical now. What are we doing here? Y'all playing semantics now. What's going on, Planet Fitness? His mugshot. What do you mean, his mugshot? Y'all, I'm doing this. Some of y'all don't get what I'm doing. I'm going to lose you. His mugshot showed the suspect sporting a light-colored beard and mustache. Oh, you mean like the beard that the last so-called woman that was in Planet Fitness locker room, the beard that that so-called woman was shaving? What, why you got to, what, 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 what? What's the problem? Miller's arrest on a felony charge came after an alarmed woman at the Gastonia Planet Fitness called 911 to report there was a naked man in the ladies' locker room. How dare this woman call the police on another woman? Y'all y'all get what I'm saying? Look, this is how crazy we're getting. How dare this woman call the police on a man that claims that he's a woman for him just exercising his right? What's the problem? What do you mean indecent exposure? How dare you treat another woman like that, you lady? The lady to call the police. How dare you do that to this man that claims that he's a woman? How dare you do that, ma'am? Are you transphobic, ma'am? Where's the LGBTQIA people at? Why aren't y'all uprising on this, huh? Where y'all at? Why, why, why aren't you guys supporting this man that claims he's a woman? 
It's a man, but he says he identifies as a woman, and he won't leave the restroom. The 911 caller told an emergency dispatcher, but he is just walking around showing us his boop and won't leave. He is completely naked, the caller said. Sources told the outlet that Miller allegedly asked a female gym member in the locker room to lo- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think this dude is trolling. If he is, that dude is a hero. No, let me stop. Sources told the outlet that Miller allegedly asked a female gym member in the locker room to lotion him up and take a shower together. Planet Fitness allows members to use the restroom and locker room consistent with their self-reported gender identity. But there was no identicate. There was no indication that Miller had identified himself as a transgender woman before venturing inside a ladies' locker room. He don't have to. He don't have to let y'all know that. He don't have to announce to y'all that he's a trans, do he? I mean, come on now. They already have enough pressure on their shoulders to show the world who they are anyways. So why are y'all trying to force this man before he walks into the women's locker room to say, by the way, I'm transphobic. Oh, my God. He don't have to do that. Why does he have to do that? So all you trans out there, all you men that identify as women, before y'all go into playing the fitness women's locker room, y'all about to burp, 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 burp. hear yeast, hear yeast, hear yeast. Let it be known that I am a Woman, I am a woman, it's only me. And walk into the locker room. Make the announcement. I think a woman should be able to go into a woman's bathroom without a man coming in saying he's transgender. Betty Bryce said, I 100% agree. If y'all don't know and didn't notice what I was doing in this video, I'm completely trolling. I don't think no man should be in no women's locker room. No woman should be in the women's locker room. But based off of what I'm hearing here, I promise you, my thought is I think this man is trolling. And I think he's trying to prove a point. I'm just making that assumption. I can be wrong, but we'll see. If this man ever, if this guy gets out, I would love to find out who he is and get in contact with him. If he posts bail and get out, I would like to get in contact with him and, and interview this man. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Planet Fitness sent the statement to the Post Thursday addressing Miller's arrest. At Planet Fitness, the safety of our, of our employees and members is our top priority, and we have zero tolerance for harassment of any kind in our clubs, said McCall Goslin, Chief Corporate Affairs Officer at Planet Fitness. We took immediate action to ensure the safety of club members, including notifying and working with law enforcement. But why didn't y'all do that with the woman that saw the man shaving in the women's locker room when, when there was a little girl in there? It's crazy. Y'all, y'all, didn't, y'all didn't do nothing about that, Planet Fitness. Miller was ordered, held on a $25,000 bond. The incident in North Carolina comes after a Planet Fitness location in Fairbanks, Alaska, came to the defense of a transgender member who was photographed shaving in the women's locker room. Patricia Silva, 67, who took the photo because she said she was alarmed seeing someone with a penis grooming themselves next to a young girl. And later, she was banned from the gym with Planet Fitness claiming that Silva violated the company's policy. In the wake of the scandal sparked by Silva's suspension, 28 Planet Fitness gyms in 11 states have been targeted with bogus bomb threats, leading to a string of evacuations. Now, doing something like that is, I think, is a little extreme. I don't think that you need to be going around threatening Planet Fitness to blow them up because of what they did by defending this man that was in the women's locker room shaving. But people dropping their memberships proved a really great point that nobody wants to put up with that. But again, folks, that didn't understand my humor in here. This is what I mean by playing the same games that they want to play at us. You can't protect one man that was in the women's locker room shaving and then not protect this man who was in there. Now, of course, I know it was crazy the man asking women to lotion him and also take a shower with him. That's ridiculously crazy. But if he was in there and doing exactly what the last man did and was walking around naked, so what? You can't say nothing to him. He just happened to have an elongated clitoris. (laughs) Do y'all think it's okay for men to be in women's locker room? Do y'all think that's okay? Do y'all think that Planet Fitness need to send this man an apology saying, look, we're sorry that we treated you like this based off your, you know, how you identify, but we don't think you should be asking women to lotion you and give you showers. But other than that, Planet Fitness needs to issue this man. Do y'all think they need to issue him an apology? Because they're playing semantics. You know, they can't sit there and take off of one man and not take up for him. I'm just saying, why did the police arrest this man? What did he do wrong? Women, do y'all ask each other to shower? Do y'all ask each other to lotion each other up? 
stuff like that. I mean, I don't, I, I'm just I'm just asking. I don't know what y'all do because I don't even see how you women can even talk to each other in locker rooms and in bathrooms. I just don't. Do y'all think that this was all wrong? Let me know in the comments section after this video. Don't forget to hit this like button before you guys get out of here, all right? Appreciate it. Also, get into your cell phones, contact list. Let one person know about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to the channel if you would, please. I'm greatly humbled by what you guys are doing. But I definitely want to hear y'all comments and hear y'all comments. I want to see y'all comments on this video, all right? I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.